Um, practice number nine coming out of the break. Uh, it was cold. Uh, it was definitely chilly, a little change than where the weather was before we got out of here, with it kind of being overcast, rainy, and cold. But I tell you what, I, I walked off and I kind of wear my emotions on my sleeve a little bit, and I was a little disappointed in the scrimmage on Wednesday, just in the overall effort, attitude, and the energy in the, in the practice. And, you know, it's a, it's a standard we talk about that we've got to reach, and at the same time, we got to coach and we got to teach. And I think it was a great teaching opportunity for us to go through that scrimmage and for them to understand what, what our expectations are. And I thought they bounced back and had a great practice today, especially coming off a break and with the weather being the way it was today. Well, I mean, and I wanted to wait until we had the opportunity to meet with the team because uh, because it is moving right now. And, you know, you, look, we were trying to find it too deep with our with our offensive line. And we're, we're trying some that have been playing tackle at guard, some from guard at tackle. If we had to play a game tomorrow, I'm not sure we'd line up the way it is right now. But we have the opportunity to move some guys around and see some of the moving pieces. And so uh, right now it's an evaluation from scrimmage one and told them there'd be another one in scrimmage two and that depth chart will constantly move. I had a chance to meet with the team and be able to put everything together uh, with just want everybody to understand where they are right now after scrimmage one. That if we were to play tomorrow, uh, this is who we think are starters. These are guys that right now are back up and there's some great competition going on right now. I think uh, Scotty and Ryan have a heck of a competition going on at quarterback right now. I think there's some, there's a good competition going on, some good competitions going on at, on the offensive line, and there's some really good competitions going on in a lot of the positions across the board. But I think it was really beneficial to be able to put it in a depth chart form at this point, even though it'll change a little bit more before we're done with spring. We, we watched the film, we watched the film, we graded the film, and then I met with everybody before we left to, to go spend some time with our families for Easter and uh, went through it. And talked in depth about every position, probably met with the offensive staff for about two hours discussing the grades and the depth chart and where we were and who we were going to try where and some of the options that we had and the same thing with the defensive staff. And so grading the film is a long process. I mean, you're grading every player, every play, every player is getting a job grade, a technique grade, a productivity grade, missed assignments, loafs, techniques, you know, I mean, so it's a long process and going 152 plays, it took a a long time to grade that film, but it was well worth it because it's an invaluable teaching tool for us right now as a new staff. Um, you know, I think it wasn't as much about the team and as probably as many um, excitements that I had. Uh, probably had some disappointments as well, not necessarily in just an individual, but where we are, you know, at positions because we weren't trying to get an overall view of where are we as an offense. You know, we were trying to get the ball to this guy, run it to the left, and I want to see him block point of attack, those type of things. And there's some positions that were probably better than I thought we were at. We were coming into the scrimmage, and there's probably some positions that I don't feel uh, that we're where we need to be right now. And, I mean, like. I, I've really been, I was really pleased with the depth of the offensive line, the number of guys that we have there. I was really pleased with the depth of the offensive line. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think we're as productive in space as we need to be as an offensive football team. Uh, when I just start looking, you know, past a couple of Kenneth Dixon's run, I don't think we made a lot of things happen at the running back position, and I don't think we made a whole lot of plays on the perimeter outside of a couple of deep balls that Paul Turner made. So I, I, I think there's, on the offensive side of the ball, pleased with the way that a little bit of the depth up front, but don't think we need to be more productive and the same thing with the defensive front I think there's I think there's some guys up front that shows that we have a lot of experience and a lot of guys that have played but I don't think at the skill positions on defense we're near as productive as we need to be and a lot of times when when you give them five or six days off and they come back it's very sluggish it's very slow uh, but I think the point we made from the scrimmage uh, and having the opportunity to condition a little bit at the end of practice kind of helps everybody understand the tempo we want. And I thought they bounced back today. And one of the things you talk about, what do you learn about your team? Every day you learn something. Uh, they're competitive. Boy, they bounced back today. And I was really proud of the way they came out here and competed today on a day when it's cold and rainy and wet and they've had a break. And they came out here and did a great job. Um, you know, today we worked some different things. We work red zone where the windows get tighter. We worked a lot more pressure today. Uh, probably weren't near as accurate or done, didn't have the completion percentage today that we've been having. Uh, but again, some of that is catches, drops, weather, cold, reads, pressure, seeing pressure for the first time. These are every day we're out here are great teaching moments for these guys in the offense and the defense. And they come out here and work like they did today. They'll keep getting better.